MailChimp has really stepped up the game in terms of features. What used to be just a simple email marketing platform has turned into something that's a whole lot bigger. And I really do mean a lot bigger. There are so many features in MailChimp now that it's honestly kind of overwhelming. Today I want to dive into one of the new features that they offer, which is the ability to create an online store. I think it's really cool that they include this, especially in their free plan. It really does seem like MailChimp is trying to become the one-stop shop for all your online marketing needs. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that we build our e-commerce websites using WooCommerce and WordPress. And if you've watched any of my WooCommerce videos, you know that I have some concerns, annoyances, and just overall disappointments with the WooCommerce platform. Basically, you can do anything in WooCommerce, but Good luck trying to figure out how to do it if you're not a developer. Like seriously, why do you make things so hard in commerce? MailChimp claims that setting up an online store through their platform is super easy. So today I'm going to test that out. I'm also going to take a deep dive into their features, integrations, and overall costs because FYI, this isn't actually free. But I wanna see if this is something that's worth using or should we just continue to make our e-commerce websites through something like WooCommerce? So let's get into it. To begin creating your store, you're going to want to go to the website tab and store from your MailChimp dashboard. That's going to take you to this page that kind of breaks down how this store gets set up. It has three different main sections. You start with your products, you set up payments, and then you do some personalization. It all sounds pretty easy and they claim that you can do this in under an hour. Let me scroll down a little bit further because I want to click here where it says read our guide to creating a MailChimp store just so we can get some more information about how this all works and what it can do with the free account. I am using the basic free account to create this because I really do want to see what is available with the free store because MailChimp is pretty good at creating these cool features and acting like you can do it all for free, but then once you get to doing something more specific, they want to charge you for that. So I really do want to see what is available with the free account. So we just have some documentation on this page that goes over how to create the online store. This is uh, something that I think is pretty important. They only allow this uh, for the time being in the United States and the United Kingdom. So unfortunately, if you live in a country that isn't in one of those parts of the world, then you can't use this platform. But they do have it available in the US. I am from the US, so I can use this. Um, another thing that is notable is that they only allow for Stripe to process payments. So one thing that I do like about WooCommerce is that you can use whatever payment processor that you want to use. If you don't want to use Stripe, if you use a different service, like in a brick and mortar store, you are able to sync those. So in my opinion, that's one point for WooCommerce that they give you options. It looks like there's just more step-by-step -step information on how to create your store on this page, which I think is really nice. I love that they have good documentation, which is definitely a point for MailChimp because WooCommerce has some of the worst documentation available uh, to set up your store. If you don't understand coding, if you're not a developer, it really doesn't make sense. So I think that this is laid out really nicely. They really go over it step by step. So definitely one point for MailChimp on the documentation. Let me scroll up here and talk about pricing. Let's click on this pricing page because there are different tiers to what you can do with your store. So I am using the free plan, but I want to see what is included in that free plan and what you get for upgrading. If you get any more features, if there's any better options available. So let's scroll down and talk about this first section, which is the additional store fees. Now, like I mentioned before, nothing is truly free, especially when you're setting up an e-commerce store. So you will be paying 
transaction fees and processing fees. That is totally normal when it comes to setting up online stores. Every payment processor charges some sort of fee. What they charge kind of varies depending on what it is. I know that Stripe generally does 2.9% plus 30 cents for every transaction. It does vary by the location, but that is information that you can find on their website. Now here is very interesting, and this is how they make money on this free account. MailChimp is charging 2% on top of Stripe's fees for every transaction. Now you might be thinking, this isn't terrible, but if you're selling a lot of products, this can really add up. So I want you to keep that in mind because if you're selling hundreds of products a week, that 2% fee is a lot of money that you're just giving to MailChimp. Now, if you upgrade your account where you do have to pay like $10 a month for this one or $29 a month for this high tier account, those transaction fee percentages go down significantly. So that's something to think about. With WooCommerce, you don't have to pay any transaction fees to WooCommerce. So that's definitely a point for WooCommerce. Scrolling down a little bit further under highlights, one thing that is notable is that you only get email and chat support for the first 30 days when setting up the free account. That is totally normal and totally understandable. Uh, so I'm not gonna take any points off for that. You're getting it for free. I understand that they would give the support to people that pay. Um, and you also get one seat with the free account, which is uh, pretty standard, I would say. But with the core and the plus accounts, you get more seats, which means I'm thinking that more people can log in to the MailChimp account and add products and do things to the store. Scrolling down a bit further, one thing that I really like is that they give you unlimited pages and unlimited products. If you see that down here, I don't understand why e-commerce platforms limit the amount of products you can have. So I really like that they offer unlimited on their free account. Another thing to note are abandoned cart emails. I think that this is really awesome that they offer this and not something that I would expect them to offer with the free plan. But since they are an email marketing company first, it kind of makes sense that they would offer abandoned cart emails. Now, if you're not sure what an abandoned cart email is, basically, if somebody goes through the checkout process but doesn't actually place the order, that's considered an abandoned cart. Now what MailChimp will do is send them an email automatically to kind of give them a nudge to say, hey, I saw that you were on the website. Did you want to make this purchase? These abandoned cart emails do really well in terms of converting sales. So I think that's really awesome that they offer it. WooCommerce offers this as well, but it is a plugin add-on just like most things in WooCommerce. And depending on what plugin you use, you might have to pay an additional fee for that to work. So definitely going to give MailChimp a point for including this in their free version. Some other things before we wrap up this pricing page, I do like that they give you some pre-designed layouts and themes with the free version. They seem to have some free stock photography and creative tools that you can use to set up the store. So that's really cool. Uh, the domain, it's kind of obvious that they're not going to give you a custom domain with the free account. Not something that I would expect them to do. You do have the ability to buy a custom domain or use the free MailChimp domain. So I guess what that means is that with the free account, I'm going to have something uh, MailChimp branded. So like wikidesign.mailchimpstore.com or whatever the URL is, but that's totally understandable not something that I'm going to ding them for. Overall, I'm really liking the amount of features that MailChimp offers with the free plan. So let's see truly how easy this is to set up. I'll start by clicking the start your store button. This takes me to a page asking me to put in my business name. I'll do that and click continue. The next prompt is to select an audience for my store. 
The audience is the name of your mailing list. The next step is to start adding products. Here I can add a product image, a product name, price, and description. It looks like you're only able to add one product image, so I'm going to have to give a point to WooCommerce because they allow you to add multiple images for every product. But I do like how easy and straightforward this interface is. It is much easier to use than WooCommerce, so MailChimp definitely gets a point for that. After I finished adding all of the information regarding my product, I'll hit save product and move on to the next step. The next step is confirming your business address. So I'll do that and hit save. Next, we need to set up shipping. The shipping options are limited. You can only do flat rate shipping or free shipping. So WooCommerce definitely has them beat on that. With WooCommerce, you have so many different options for shipping and can pull rates directly from whatever carrier you use. There's no option to do that here. So I gotta give the point to WooCommerce on this one. Now I need to set up payments. I'm not actually going to walk you through how to do this because it asks for a lot of sensitive information. So you'll have to figure out this step on your own, but I promise it's just as easy to set up as everything else has been so far. It says it takes about 15 minutes, but it actually took me a lot less time. So it's super easy to do. Next, I'll click manage store settings. If you need to change anything that you've just set up, you can do that here, as well as configure settings for taxes and order notifications. Now I'm going to click on the website tab so I can see what my store looks like so far. I've created a home page, product detail page, and product listing page. I can add a page or link by clicking here. And if I click these individual pages, I can edit and add different sections. The interface is pretty straightforward and it looks pretty easy to use. It's a lot like how you design an email in MailChimp. For ease of use, they definitely get a point but you can't really do too much. You're limited to their layouts and templates, just like any other closed platform system. So I'm going to give a point to WooCommerce because you're just able to do anything you want with WooCommerce. If you want something super straightforward and easy to use, MailChimp's online store isn't too bad. But if you want more options and more creative control and not have to worry about paying a lot of transaction fees, WooCommerce is definitely the way to go. That's it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you to all 10,000 of you that have subscribed so far. That was a big goal for us this year to get to 10,000 subscribers. I definitely thought it was going to take us a lot longer to get there, but you guys made it happen and we can't thank you enough for the support. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.